What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the 11.3.1 jailbreak because it was just released less than an hour ago. And I wanted to get up a tutorial on to show you guys how to jailbreak your device as cleanly as possible because I know a lot of people do have issues when they're trying to jailbreak and I actually had a few issues on my iPhone 10 when I was trying to jailbreak it. So in this video, I'm going to be jailbreaking my iPhone 7. Now, if you guys want to see like top tweak videos, top theme videos, maybe even a perfect jailbroken setup video, then make sure you hit that like button to let me know that you guys want to see that type of content and I'll try to get some out for you guys as soon as possible. Also really quick, I am doing a giveaway of AirPods. So if you guys want to be entered into that, make sure you check the link in the description below. All right, but now let's get into the main event and that is jailbreaking your device. So there's a couple of things that you want to do initially. So on your device, make sure your device is plugged into your computer. Once you've done that, go ahead and disable Siri. So just go into your settings, go down here into Siri and search, and then you'll just have to tap this little toggle or these top two toggles off and then it's gonna ask you if you wanna turn off Siri. So once you've turned that off, then you wanna put your device into airplane mode. Once you're in airplane mode, reboot your device. So on the iPhone 7, we're just gonna hold the power button and the volume down button. And we're gonna wait for that Apple logo and there it is. So this is what's recommended before you jailbreak your device. So make sure you follow those three steps. You turn off Siri, you put it in airplane mode, and then you reboot your device. Now it is also recommended that you go through future restore so you have basically a clean install uh, of your operating system and all that good stuff, but that's not something that I have on this device. And I think it's gonna be fine because this is pretty much a clean uh, install anyways. And of course you can still do the jailbreak without using future restore, so don't think that that's a requirement or anything. So let's go ahead and get in and we should be good to go at this point. So now we're gonna hop over to our computer and we're going to download a couple of things. So this is gonna be the first thing that you wanna download and that's the Electra jailbreak. So you can see right here, they've updated the website. It works with 11.3.1, 11.2 up to 11.3.1. And then you have two download buttons right here at the bottom. So you have one for downloading a dev account, if you have a dev account. And then right below that you have one for a non-dev account. So for most of you guys, it's going to be the non-dev account. So that's what we're gonna be using in this video. So what we wanna do next after we download this, which I already have, you can see it right here, and I actually put it on my desktop right here. Now what we wanna do is go to Cydia Impactor. And then you can download you know, the Cydia Impactor for whatever operating system that you need. So have Mac, Windows, Linux, 32 and 64 bit. So just download that for, the, for your operating system and then you're ready to start jailbreaking. So. What we wanna do now is open up Cydia Impactor, which we can see right here. And you can see that my device is connected and recognized because it has my iPhone listed right here. And then what we wanna do is make sure that this says install Cydia Extender. At that point, we're just gonna take the IPA, drag it over on top of Cydia Impactor, and then log in using our iTunes account. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then just type in your password. All right, so when you type in your password, and if you get this error right here, then that means you have two auth enabled on your account, and you can't actually use your original password uh, to install something with Cydia Impactor. So what we wanna do here is really simple. We're just gonna go over here, and we're gonna go to appleid.apple.com and then we're just gonna log in right here. And then you're gonna come to this screen and then all you wanna do is click on generate password and then you can type in you know, whatever you want to right here. We're just gonna type in JB for Justin Bieber, of course. Click create and then we have an app specific password. So we just wanna copy this. So just right click and then copy and then we can minimize this out. So that's the password we're gonna use once we log in with our iTunes account. So at this point again, we're just gonna start over. We're going to drop the IPA onto City Impactor and then we're gonna sign in. And then when you need to enter your password, just right click and then paste. You can't use Control V or anything like that, Command V. So click OK. And at that point, it should start installing Electra. So we should see Electra pop up right here on our phone, which we can see right here. Now what we wanna do is click on it and it says untrusted developer. So we gotta make sure that we uh, go into our settings down to general, scroll all the way down to device management, and then tap on the developer app and you can see Electra right here. So we're going to trust this. And then we're gonna go over here to Electra again and open it right up. So at this point, 
we should be able to jailbreak. So we're gonna tap on jailbreak right here and it should go ahead and jailbreak the device. Now this is a two step process. So the first time you're gonna tap on it and it's going to reboot your device. And then hopefully we'll have uh, Cydia on the device but then we have to go back into the Electra app and then enable the jailbreak. So let's go ahead and see if this actually works out. So I just realized I wasn't on airplay mode. I think that happens once you reboot, but let's go ahead and give this another try on uh, airplay mode up here. All right, so we're rebooted and we typed in our passcode. We swipe over. Okay, we don't have Electra. So, or we don't have Cydia, sorry. So we're gonna open up again and we're going to try it again. And that's really what we're gonna do until we see Cydia on the device you know sometimes these jailbreaks don't work the first time and you need to do it a couple of times so we're gonna go ahead and do that all right no whammies no whammies no still not working so just for comparison's sake since I have it I'm actually trying to jailbreak another iPhone 10 right here and we're actually one step closer on the iPhone 10 than we are on uh, the iPhone 7. So you can see right here that, well, first of all, we have an error right there, but usually it'll just say jailbreak. Right here, we actually have Cydia on the device. We just need to enable jailbreak. So we're tapping on enable jailbreak and then it's failing pretty much every single time. Now, I don't really have any pro tips for you guys at this point. It's really just a matter of being patient and continuing to try. Uh, I would assume that there's an obvious issue with the first release of this uh, jailbreak for 11.3.1 and we're probably going to see a newer version update maybe tonight, maybe you know in a couple of days or so uh, to make this a little bit more uh, consistent. But let's go ahead and open this up and you can see we do have Cydia but if we open up Cydia it just crashes out. So. Uh, I am still on airplane mode. Let's go ahead and take off airplane mode. Just give that a try. Turn off do not disturb. And uh, let's go ahead and give it another try. So when you reboot your device, you obviously have to wait about 30 seconds before you can try it again. Uh, for this one, we're just gonna try to close this out. Open it back up. Oh, and this even says share Alexa. So sometimes that screws up uh, once you get that error. So we're gonna need to reboot our device. So we'll go ahead and reboot this device while the iPhone 10 is trying. Hopefully I don't have to bust out another model here to try to jailbreak. I'm not sure if I have another one on 11.3.1, but it looks like the iPhone 10 is coming back. Here comes the iPhone 7. Uh, if I need to, I can pull in another device to see if uh, maybe it's a device issue. I know I saw somebody uh, that it worked the first time on an iPhone SE, so I have some iPhone SEs back here, I think, uh, that we can try. So let's open up Cydia. Okay, still doesn't work. Yeah, so still not really getting anywhere uh, with the iPhone 10. All right, so we're back here and I have uh, just rebooted my iPhone 10. So let's just give this another try. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn, make sure Siri is completely turned off here. And you see all these, uh, my Twitter feed back here. These are all the people having issues. So I just sent out a tweet asking if everybody else was having issues and you can definitely see that that is the case. So uh, I just kinda wanna make this a longer video because I know a lot of people are having issues. So at this point, we're just going to make sure that everything we were supposed to do is done and continue to go through the process. So let's click on Siri and search and that is completely turned off. So now what we wanna do is turn on airplane mode and let's try this once again. First of all, let's open up Cydia. Okay, yeah, it doesn't work. So enable jailbreak. And while that one's going, we'll get this one started as well. And let's make sure we are on airplane mode. Um, I wanna make sure Siri is turned off. Should be, okay, it is. And I just rebooted it. So these are all the steps that were uh, mentioned to give it a try to hopefully make it more successful. So this is actually the first time that I've seen the dial, I think, maybe I'm lying. Um, please work. Oh, we gotta turn off airplane mode. So let's turn off airplane mode. Let's reload. Oh, it worked. Hallelujah. All right, so let's go ahead and see if it worked on this one as well. What would be the odds of that? Okay, still didn't work on this, but it did work on this device. So now if we go over here to Alexa, or I'm sorry, 
Electra. Oh, Jesus. Electra. Uh, we'll go back here. All right, so I just looked up some uh, tweaks that were compatible, and I should have just done cylinder in the first place because this says that it's compatible with 11.3.1. .1. So fingers crossed. I have a really good feeling about this. I think we're in the clear here. So let's go ahead and restart the springboard. I'm sorry if this is a longer video. Um, I just, I mean... I know you guys are going to feel a lot of pain and I don't want you guys to think, you know, that I just, you know, plugged in my phone and then did the tutorial and it worked right out of the box. I mean, this was, uh, this was an event. All right. So tweak is working. We have cylinder working. Thank God we're good to go. We're jailbroken. And I really don't have any tips and tricks. The only tips and tricks I could say is make sure your device is in airplane mode, make sure Siri is turned off, and reboot your device every once in a while after a few tries of the jailbreak because it is going to take several different tries. Every once in a while, somebody's gonna get lucky and they're gonna get it to work on the first try. That's great, that's fantastic. I don't think that's the majority of the users because I tried this on three different phones. So technically, I have shrunk down my time to success by three times and it still took me about two hours. So I have a lot of footage to go over, but I wanted to walk you through this process. I know it's kind of messy. If you guys want to wait for an update to Electra, it's possible that something's going to be coming out. It's very possible that something is not. And this is just how you're going to have to jailbreak your device. I can say that it's not hard to continue to try. It just takes some time. So really the people that really want the jailbreak are the only ones that are going to put in the time in order to get this done. So if you have questions, if you have issues, something out of the realm that I've ran into, then make sure you leave a comment in the comments below and I'll be sure to help you guys out as much as I can. Again, if you guys want to win some AirPods, I'll put a link in the description below. And if you guys want to see some jailbreak tweaks that are compatible with 11.3.1 .1 and some themes that are working, then make sure you hit that like button to let me know. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you know when I upload a video. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.